So I'm having some trouble with my dryer. Uh, it's turning on. It's a Maytag Centennial, um, getting really good airflow, but it's not producing any heat. Uh, so we're going to do some troubleshooting on this thing. Um, the first thing we're going to look at, and which I already did, was down in the lower corner right here. There's a little plastic cover. You take a screwdriver, you just kind of pop in there a little bit. You don't want to push too down too hard because you don't want to um, scratch, scratch the paint or anything. There's a little viewing hole. So if you turn your dryer on and you watch for like a minute or two, you should see a glowing red igniter and then you'll see the flame come up. So if you don't see that stuff, it means it's failing to ignite. Like even the igniter is not working. So the first thing we're going to do is look at the thermal fuse, uh, which is a fuse that if it gets too hot, it breaks and it cuts off everything with the ignition. So to do that, I got to get to the back of the dryer. So I'm going to slide this thing out and then we'll take a look at how to take the back off. So I'm back here behind the dryer, I pulled it out. Uh, I took the vent off on the bottom. I left the propane in, but I did unplug it. Um, I didn't want to take the propane off. It's not leaking, there's it's no problems there. So first we're gonna take the back off. And to do that, there's a bunch of these little quarter inch screws that you have to take off. And so there's three on the side here. There's one, two, three, a couple here in the middle and three on the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and take those off and then show you how to take the back off. So if the screw's removed, you just rotate this back and you can see the air goes around that vent. Now once you get so low, you now it's pull up a little bit and it comes right out. Set that off to the side. All right, so the part that we're testing is this part right here. This is the thermal fuse. So it breaks if it gets overheated um, and it cuts everything off, shuts your dryer off to, uh, you know, obviously to help avoid, you know, any, any fires or anything like that. Uh, so you just pull these wires off. You might have to get a little tug. It doesn't hurt. You know, you might need a little some pliers if you need it. And those come off. And then to test it, I'm going to use this ohm meter. So you can see that that line, you have two pieces. Put those two pieces together and that shoots way up. So if I put one end on one side and one end on the other side, if that line moves, that means we have continuity. So we push those together and it's moving around, which means that that thermal coupler probably isn't the problem, which means it's probably more like the igniter. We get in here again, push those two together and that's moving. So it's allowing current to come through here, so it's not the fuse, um, which is a good thing. So now that we know that, we'll go in and we'll start testing like the igniter. All right, so I put everything back together, slid the dryer back, and so now we're gonna start looking at the igniter part. So to get to that, we gotta do some disassembly. So take your lint cap out, put that off to the side, and there's two screws here. So you want to take those out. Be careful not to drop them down that uh, lint trap. Because that would be terrible. So with that out now, to get the rest of the top off, Take something like a putty knife, you wedge it in the corner here and you push, you see that kind of pops up. So you do the same thing on the other side. Put that in there, it's easier with two hands. That's popped up and that just kind of hinges up like that. Uh, so ultimately, we're going to get to the bottom of this thing. So next thing we're gonna do is take out those two screws. There's one there, and there's one on that side, and we're gonna unplug that connector. All right, I got that disconnected. I took out those two screws, which are 5 sixteenths. Uh, there wasn't really enough room for the drill, so I just used this with the little driver on the end. So when you start taking this off, your, your uh, 
tumbling here, I think it's gonna kind of fall a little bit. So kind of put your hip against it, hold that. And then this front part will lift out. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so to get the drum out, you know, it's kind of hanging here. Down here, you can see in there, there is a tensioner right here. So that belt goes down around the tensioner and then around this guy here. So what we're gonna do, push that a little bit to release the belt. All right, so that was kind of hard to see in there, but this is the tensioner. So it sits in there like this and holds the belt goes around there and holds that which which is what puts the tension so once you give it a little bit of push it pops out and slides out in those two slots so you can kind of kind of see it in there and then I just took the belt off pulled the drum out and now we can get into our pieces and parts in here so you can see this is part of the gas line comes across comes in here shoots the gas through here and this piece here is the igniter uh, and so there's a clip right here I'm gonna take that clip off and I'm gonna test it with the ohm meter to uh, see if I'm getting the continuity all right so we got the clips off of this one and then while I was at it I also took it off this sensor this detects the flame and if there's no flame detected this cuts it off so that you know you're not just leaking gas out there so using the old meter here I'm gonna grab my two parts your two prongs you basically hold it to those two pieces of metal and if your old meter moves then that means you're getting flow through here um, same thing with the other one back here there's two prongs one here and one up here so if I take my Two probes here. I hit it on both of them. Put it on the right setting first. And I put those two on there. You see it moved. So that means it's it's letting electricity flow through there. So we're good. So I'm gonna look at this one as well. See if I can do this one handed. Put my pieces on here. And I can't really get it. So I'm going to test that, see if it moves, and I'll uh, check back and let you know. So it turned out those two uh, parts are good. So what I'm going to do is get to uh, the back of the dryer again and test some of the sensors back there. Uh, truth be told, probably should have done that in the beginning instead of uh, all this rig and roll. But hey, you know, live and learn. Learn from my mistakes. All right, so I took the back off and I tested a bunch of the sensors, and I think I found the one here. Um, this sensor right here is the thermal coupler. And basically, it detects if there's high heat, it blows, and then um, cuts off cuts off the gas and uh, ignition and everything. Um, so you can kind of see it was right down here. Uh, I went through and I tested all these, and this is the only one that I wasn't getting any uh, any readings from. And so to test it, and I, to be honest, I don't recommend you doing this unless you really feel comfortable doing it. But I kind of bypassed it and I put some connectors and some wires on there. Because uh, I wanted to give it a test run because this part when I looked it up was 45 bucks. So wanted to check, make sure it's this part. I'm not going to leave it on there long. I just want to check it to see if that's the piece. So I plugged the dryer back in. I took the front panel, clipped it together so that it thinks it's shut. I'm going to lift this up and I'm going to hit start.
Yeah, so I went to the uh, plants repair shop today. I uh, got the parts that were needed to replace this bad uh, thermal cutoff. Um, not only comes in two packs, basically you get the, the one that I need and then you get the one that's below it. So I'm going to go ahead and replace that one as well. Uh, might as well since, you know, I got the parts and pieces. Uh, so in the back, that's, this is the one I took off already back here. And then that's the other new one. And that's held on by two, two little bolts. Um, they are quarter inch driver. Uh, same thing with this one that I took off. That side clips in to the, uh, the back. And then there's a little bolt that holds into that. So I'm going to go ahead and put the new one on. Then take that old one off and put the new one on, on and then we'll we'll give it a test run see what happens. Alright, so I got the new ones on. I put this one on and I put this one on. Again, it's just a quarter inch screw here. This one has one on each side here and then one on the opposite side. Plug the wires back in. Uh, good to go. Uh, while I was back here, um, I went ahead and I wanted to test this connection here just to make sure it's still good. I've been jostling the dryer around. Uh, so I have a spray bottle here, uh, which is some soap uh, and water, uh, just kind of mixed up. You spray that on there, and if you see uh, big bubbles forming, after you spray it, then that would mean that the gas is leaking out of here and you have a bad connection and you need to repair it. Um, so since I was back here, I figured, hey, why not? It's a good idea to check that, uh, just make sure we're not leaking gas. Uh, so now that that's all put back together, I'm going to go ahead and put the back back on. Uh, connect up my uh, you know exhaust hose here and uh, we're gonna kind of slide it back into place and give it a test all right so I got the back all in so now I'm gonna kind of give it a test run here I got it on just a timer setting and I'm just gonna hit start Let's see what happened should anything it's uh when you had the back off to test all those uh all those pieces and parts before you start ripping the front off because they did a lot of unnecessary work but that's all right we'll get it all back together and get back to washing some clothes um if you have any questions leave them in the comments and i will check back with you later